All right, guys, let's get into this. We broke up. It's just called We Broke Up. Mm, I have not watched this. 2.4 thousand likes. That is like 20 times more than her average. She's a happy girl. 4.2 thousand dislikes, which is also significantly more than her That's average. True. ALR, lead legal advisors. Huh. Good job, Ammo. Good name. As Amber's top legal advisor, I'm here to warn the group that I'm issuing a cease and desist to each and every one of you. Thank you. That's not what that says. A ceased, ceased and deceased? A ceased and deceased. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I read it correctly instead of wrong like I was supposed to. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get into this. <laughs> oh, boy. Hello. So, I don't know if I'm going to regret this, but... You know, I she... have... It's been so hard all week not to watch. I, I listened to like Karina Kaboom talk about it, but I have not watched the videos at all. She said, I'm not going to regret it, but those 104,000 views, I bet she's happy with. Oh, but yes, you know, she is. You know what's still... Wait, how many views? 104,000. Oh, yeah. Besides this being more than like the most views she's gotten in probably a year, it all it took was her clickbaiting that her and her girlfriend broke up. That's and true. It's, it's still not even a, a third of the views she got in the live stream era. No, not at all. You know, if she would have had her girlfriend doing live streams with her, they would have had plenty of views this whole time, and then maybe wifey wouldn't have left because the money was gone. Fear the T-Rex said, pity me. Pity now. That's exactly what this is. M me pity a lot now. Where is the bingo? Speaking of pity. Oh, yes, indeed. Where is the, the I, pity party on the bingo? I, I started starting early. I started to open up the bingo on my stream deck, but I'm... Um, that I'm very distracted today. Have I seen the void 2016? Yes, the void was good. That was it with the with the triangle and the people in the hoods yeah. and shit. That was good. That was a good movie. I did like that. I think I made you watch it. I think we watched it together. I don't think you made me watch it. It was a scary movie. Of course, I wanted to watch it. I held your face to the TV screen. I think you picked it when we were searching for scary movies to yeah. watch. It was good. I don't know. It's like a little video diary. But um, Feline and I have broken up. Um, it was mutual. So it was this, mutual. Did you know that it was mutual? So I'm just gonna go lean over here, late start, X to doubt, Shelly in charge. Gonna hit the X to doubt like three more times. And, uh, I will. Otter. Oh, yeah, Otter. Extreme boss. I think we should have, oh my god, content for all that book shenanery. I got content. It's so boring. Hearts in the chat for the birthdays. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That don't math. We haven't said that yet. Okay. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, the timing on these are great. Uh, Comrade Kitty, notice Amber made it just 10 minutes in the video. Uh, Vid still got ads even... What? Just made it past 10 minutes on this video and still got ads even, even crying. All right, okay. Guys, I think Miss Sin just got raptured. She just fuck. I'm oh. looking for my sweater since it's a freaking ice box. You fucking in here. disappeared. I had to find my sweater. You freeze me to death. Jeez. Guys, what you don't understand is Amber is dealing with a dangling heart. Oh my god, she does have a dangling heart. Poor it has Amber. broken up. Um, it was mutual. <clears throat> oh my god, and she's got her earphones in. She she's has. She needs her uh, Ethan Klein. Support. Group. She starts the video with the shit playing and then pauses it. Uh huh. Oh, we, we start this from the beginning. Hold on. Is it sped up? Yes. Um. So this is what the fifth dumping she's had since she's been on YouTube. She gets dumped a lot. Casey, Crystal, Destiny, Becky, Wipey. Maybe she should stop being an asshole. Mm-hmm. Said so we need a mutual counter. Okay. I guess this thing is retired from being the Awu counter, so. From the beginning. Hello. In the beginning, there was only Amber and Felie. Oh. But then, everything changed. It was mutual. So, I don't know if I'm going to regret this, but. I don't know, it's like a little video diary. <laughs> but, um. Feline and I have broken up. Um, it was mutual. I have a freaking headphone thing in. You shouldn't be listening. You're, imagine you're crying. Making a very serious video. <laughs> you, you, you. Let me turn off my YouTube, my, my ear, please. <laughs> Hang on. 
I guess I'll give attention to my camera since I'm making a very serious, important mutual breakup video. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> I have an, another donation goal up. That's why this one is uh, half what it normally is. It was mutual, and like I'm wearing the same thing I was wearing yesterday. Like I talks about how crazy she looks. Oh, definitely. And Glenn been princess member for five months. Still waiting for oh, her. Oh, yeah. Autism diagnosis arc. I'm sure it's coming. She looks dirty. All right. Dirty Lynn. Thank you, Glenn Princess. A uh, woo indeed. A uh, woo indeed. Uh, I would say you should drink every, if an actual tear falls down your face, but you'd be sober. <laughs> but what does Ja Rule think about the breakup? I don't get this meme. <laughs> Are we saying wifey's Ja Rule? That's the only thing I could think oh, of. Oh, is it? That's the only thing I could think of. I, I thank you, Booty Warrior and Q-Ro. Bro? Bro. I did have makeup. Like, I oh, we're definitely oh. having Mike be talking. Boop. Completely. I just... I can't stop crying. I feel like I'm mourning, like, a death. Like, knowing that one day, like... Is she suffer? She is suffering. That's really weird. If it was mutual, why are you mourning like it's a death? Ooh. <coughs> that poor dog. <laughs> the dog was not actually going ooh. ooh. He just looked pathetic and gross. That's all little dogs look like that. That's true. Every Chihuahua I have ever seen looks exactly like that one. Yeah, they're gross. I'm just gonna wake up and she's not there. It's um. It's a different different type of pain because like I envisioned my whole future with her and I know she did the same and D did she that's why you guys broke up because you envisioned your whole future wait a minute a ALR's late legal advisors said the news phoned in Ja Rule to get his take on the 9-11 twin tower attacks what when when it happened no, five years after. What, well, why are we talking about it? Oh, apparently on 9-11, MTV News asked Ja Rule what his thoughts were on the disaster. Well, why are we talking about this now? I, I don't, don't understand. The Ja Rule meme. It's a, okay, it's, it's just a meme that's popular right now? Emily, that's the next one. I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not hip with I'm, the memes. Yeah, I'm not hip I'm on the old, memes. I'm an old boomer lady, guys. I talking to an Italian man considering making him dinner. Shelly, what should I cook him? Spaghetti from a jar. If you never want to get a call back. And frozen garlic bread. Nicole, why? The Ja Rule reference is a Dave Chappelle joke, by the way. Uh, okay, well, I'm, I'm missing out. I'm like, what, are, we, are we calling wifey Ja Rule? What is it's happening here? It's just flying here? right over my head. <laughs> exactly. And this was mutual. <sighs> um, there has, like, I'm going to speak for myself. No. There has been no. <laughs> some things that just, like... Yes, and the frozen meatballs, Sam. You can't forget the frozen meatballs. I don't have to go into detail. Love just isn't enough sometimes. And what's love got to do, got, got to, to do, do with, with it? it? Galia, ALR single, and I have a boyfriend. Enter Twilight Zone. Na, 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 Happy na, boyfriend. Na, 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 na. Uh, this stream and THC helped me celebrate my second job promotion in two years uh, within the DOE. I am so proud of myself. <laughs> I am so proud of myself. Oh, hi, Shelly. How are the boobs? Hi. Thank you. The boobs are boobing, and I'm loving it. Indeed. And Sam, no comment. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I just, I know what I'm worth. What are you, I mean, you're, you're worth a lot less than you were last year when wifey came around. That's she, for sure. She... The net worth has gone down this year. Who has a mutual breakup and goes, I know what I'm worth? Ah. Uh, that, that's that's non-mutual talk. That is non-mutual talk. And I know it might not be, like, a lot to some people, but I know, like, what I deserve, and I know what I want, and I just need... Oh, Kate has a good theory. Mm. I wonder if their relationship has been on the rocks, and that played a part in why Amber... If she wasn't denied, decided not to get weight loss surgery because she wouldn't have a caretaker there. That is a very good possibility. That is a possibility. Or that she knew wifey was planning on leaving and wasn't actually going to help her pay for it. His mm. wifey had this boyfriend. I think wifey had a boyfriend. I, I think the I mystery, think the man, mystery man, man who put the notes in the box was probably wifey's new crush. I, I'm betting that somewhere in there... 
<laughs> Crow said, I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to think it wasn't mutual. <laughs> Somewhere in there with the new people hanging out, something happened maybe, because wifey, at the beginning of the relationship, if you remember, all she talked about was being poly, maybe she's not actually a lesbian. Mm -hmm. I'll bet you the guy was wifey's guy. Wifey's crush, wifey's side piece. Her, her boyfriend. It was right. wifey. It was somebody to wifey. Yeah. And that is he what... He came around and hung out a little bit, and they uh, decided they were going to go and off on the run without Amber. That's... Said... Whoopsie poopsies. <laughs> hey, Mr. Oh, and Mrs. Sid, I hope all is well with uh, you Pikmin, both. no comment. Corrupt hero. At this point in the day, to impress a guy and get him hooked is to pay attention and actually care about what they have to say. Food is just icing on the cake. Mm-hmm. That's true. Give them compliments. They like compliments. We do. We hold them. We hoard them. And Nicole Weiss said, but live streamed after Becky dumped her shell fast. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. We got a not even crying video here. And let's look, look at all this. the tears. Before Jim chat, best advice I heard is all relationships end. Either you break up or someone dies before the other. Gives people a chance to enjoy the relationship in the moment. Moment. See you at the gym. Oh, Thank nice you, Liz. List. That's good advice. A job rule. Y'all be tripping. Ail her wipey didn't break up. Her contract ran out. I mean, that's also possible. To be single, I literally I'm crying. Oh, my head hurts so bad. Sorry. I have oh, done the nothing. Same, was but it the same person they went bowling with and had a sleepover? Ooh. Ooh, stress mommy. That's also a good theory. Literally cry and cry and cry and cry. But shouldn't the Awu train be at 10 plus? No, it got derailed almost immediately. <laughs> it did, like immediately. For the last, like, 24 hours. This happened literally before fireworks last night. I don't know what to say. It, something happened. Something happened there. They went to a party. She said they went to a party. Wipey's boyfriend was there. Maybe Wipey and the boyfriend got a little close. Amber got a little jealous. They had a little fight situation type deal. And they said, you know what, fuck it. Wipey said, you ain't making the money you was making when I got here. And I'm going to go live with the boyfriend. That's my guess. Something happened here. I'll bet you, I'll bet you money Amber didn't go to fireworks. Uh, maybe not. I'll Maybe bet, Wipey went with a boyfriend and Amber was upset. I'll bet you Amber's like, we could just watch it on YouTube at home. Uh -huh. We can watch it out the window. And Wipey was like, no, I want to go and see Wipey fireworks. Wipey left and Amber was like, I have anxiety. You can't leave me alone. And then she threw him out and do at her. Maybe that's what happened. <laughs> Something happened. Something happened. Hey, <laughs> like, I know there's probably going to be a lot of people questioning and saying you seem so happy and yeah, like the relationship. <laughs> Imagine, hey, I want to break up. Phew. It was, I was with Queen, party. Was literally the most passionate relationship. Yeah, and taking Amber to fireworks unlikely. That's true. I've ever been in, but on both sides of the spectrum. Did you just say mutual again? Did she? Counting. It's and I just <laughs> she's my best friend and. Where are the tears? There are no tears. It's and then in AJ said the video on the 4th, she was so excited for the fireworks date, so it could not have been mutual if it happened right before that date. Mutual, guys, totally didn't get dumped in the trash. Mutual! Thank you, comrade <laughs> Kitty. Yeah, no, she, she's just, she's full of shit. She is absolutely full of shit. Damn it, there's something I wanted to say, but I forgot. It's like she wants to help me with this move. Everyone's leaving moving. fireworks emojis in her comments now. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Dainty Gorilla, I love that name. She will be moving. Fantastic. Um, we have a timeline of when that's going to be happening, and it, she's not helping her move. No, Wipey's going to take her shit and go. She ain't sticking around to help you move, Amber. Good luck with that. I just look around. Have to pay somebody, honey. At everything, and it's like I look over in my kitchen and I'm like, "That's the first place she kissed me." Oh. <laughs> but then there's also. <laughs> I forget. I forgot which one that's at. I don't know, but it's a good one. Yeah, it is a good it's one. It's perfect for right now. I for, it's, does anybody know what that dono said at? Oh, probably a bad memory in that same spot. You know, it's like Amber and I. Again, I didn't see this video, but I watched Karina Kabooms, and I think you guys have to realize did a video on this. And Amber does kind of allude that Wipey was abusive. 
Really? I didn't catch that. I, I feel like watching those kind of videos yeah, 30, where they're just talking about what she said rather than showing it isn't cheating. 31 flat. Yeah, okay, that's what that is. 31 flat for the ew, wee, ew, ew. Not everything is perfect behind the scenes. Honestly, it doesn't even matter why we broke up. Um, it's personal. Yes, it does. I, I, I want to know. I'm like, I'm a I'm nosy gonna come bitch. on your in vague post about our breakup, not say why, and then get really upset when everyone speculates on why it could be rather than just say what happened. I want to fucking it know. It makes a lot of sense, Amber. Now, this might strike some viewers as harsh, but I believe everyone involved in this story should die. This breakup is a psyop to guilt trip Becky into not exposing her. This is my hill. That's not a bad one. Uh, and we'll get into this more in a minute. But imagine going through a breakup. And the first thing you do is text your ex-girlfriend going, I will get a lawyer if you talk about me online. Becky knows something. Within, within a day. Becky has got the T. Becky knows Becky the Becky has no. got the T on whatever... How her and Wipey got together and whatever happened there, and Amber is terrified she's going to spill it. Mm, I think you're right. Personal, and we both have our own reasons, Mitchell. but she's, she's my other half of my heart, and I'm the other half uh, of hers. Um, clearly or not, she's gone. She, her heart ain't dangling. She's out with her boyfriend. <laughs> she, she has no dangling. <laughs> Becky's fault. Pshu, psh. But we can't be in a relationship. Didn't wifey get a fucking bunch of amber tattoos? Yeah, but they were vague enough to not necessarily be. It doesn't like it. She didn't get Amber's name on her. Yeah, it's. Which, this... I mean, don't get somebody's name on you. That's pretty much curse. You're gonna break up. I'll. You know what? I'll bet you wifey had the wifey tattoo before, and that's why Amber called I mean, her that. Even if she didn't, what? Well, that's really. It, uh, lesbians all call each other wifey. Hey. It's just the thing. My, my lesbian We're, girlfriend was also wifey. Why are you tearing up my carpet? It's just the thing that lesbians do. So it's fine if she had it or if she has it in the future. It doesn't really have anything to do with Amber. Yeah. Wifey can be anybody. The, the umbrella, that can be anything. There's so much, that's anything. It's not like it's Amber's name. So when, when you were in your long-term lesbian relationships. She was my wife. That's what you, you just. She's my wife. You just did wife. Yeah, she's my wife. All right. I just don't but even know what to say. Do. Like, I just got off the phone with my mom and talked to her because I just needed someone. I needed, I just needed someone. Did, but all of these new friends, gone in the wind. So, yeah, because they were all wifey's friends. Just like all of her old friends were Becky's friends. She, she I had nobody a, else, so I had to call my mom. She's a terrible person. This is Bragg's friends. Friends don't stick around with her. Her, her friends are people that her partner knows, and when her partner goes, those friends go too. That's it. That isn't her, you know? Because Feline is my best friend, and I'm her best friend, and it's like, yeah. it's kind of hard to... You can turn the AC down. ...cry to the person oh, wow. you that you're losing, that even though Feline and I both have been crying thing? literally yeah. all day. I have never, ever, ever, ever... Mutual crying, counting it. Oh, yeah. I've seen her cry this much. And even just calling her Feline is so hard because Bambi and Feline, like... You, they, you, you. You. Yeah, I, I, I highly doubt that Wipey called her Bambi. Yeah. Maybe one time. Yeah. No. When she was, like, t stumbling because she couldn't walk. Like, you call me Bambi when I wear the super tall stripper heels because I can't walk in them. <laughs> and she was just waddling around and she said, you're walking like a Bambi hmm? one time. And Amber turned it into a whole thing. It's not a thing anymore. Nope, it's gone, babe. I also think, like, I'm partially in shock. I don't know. Okay. It's like, how do I go on? There we go. <laughs> ew, ew, ew. No one cares! <laughs> Crow. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Liz Lucas said ALR scared that Becky's. No one cares. Cult to Krill, no comment. Thank, Thank you so much, you. Crow and Cult.
And Liz said, ALR Scared Becky's going to be the conductor on that cancel culture toxic gossip train, and I'll be buying a first class ticket. Same, girl, same. As I can't wait to see Becky spill that tea. As one Tom Harlock said, Becky, Becky, <laughs> Becky. <laughs> Becky is the moment. Becky is the moment. I, I literally just feel like, like... Thank you, guys. Something I've always experienced is like, when I experience heartbreak, I feel it physically. Like, it physically feels like I've lost, like, a limb or... A limb. It's dangling. It's dangling. Dangling limbs. I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it just, it feels like... I wash myself with a rag on a stick. <laughs> uh, Gina, for two pound... I doubt this is real. Views have been low. I've that, also that, wondered mm. if that's possible. Like, views are low, and I wonder if it's like, okay, I don't want people to... Like, like she already tried to disappear wifey before. And yeah. pretend that she's a new girlfriend. So we say, okay, let's pretend break up and get some views, and mm -hmm. then you can pretend you're not here and just be super quiet in the background. Who, who knows? But it would be nice if Amber gave us some details. Uh, Seamus Master Frog Frog Frog. Grumpy fluffy bunny, ALR's future rag on a stick. <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of great theories floating around. I uh, yeah. Well, that went out my nose. Sorry. I well, don't you know. Apologize to your nose just now. Yes. I don't know where I land yet. I don't know. I'm not sure where I land yet, but I, mean, I don't know if it's fake. But because if it were fake, then like wifey's gonna have to be silent. All the time in the background. Like, that would be hard to get around. Yeah. Like, without getting caught in a lie. Yeah. Yeah. I was hit by a truck a million no. times over. Just repeatedly over and over and over. Like, I just feel like I can't live without her, but I know that I have to because it's just... Are we going to see an actual tear here? <laughs> like, the know, eyes are red and watery. She was just poking herself in the side of the eye before the video okay, well, started. I mean, we have, I mean, unless she's pausing to wipe her tears away, which doesn't seem like something she would do. Where are the tears? John Galt says, wifey sounds like Busta Rhymes. Oh my God. Like, I, I was drunk crying harder than this for, I don't even remember why, two days ago, because I was drunk. Where are the tears? Mm. She should be actually emotionally injured right now. Hey, Becky. A uh, quick question. Did you hear of a channel called Just My Two Cents? Recommend watching. It's amazing. Tearing ALR's lives apart. I will definitely yeah, forget that. list of things to check out. I'll definitely forget that, but uh, shoot me a tweet with it. I know what I deserve. This would be where Even though sometimes I, like I act like I hate myself. Like, I act like it. The watery eyes. She's, she's trying really hard to squeeze them out. She's emotional. And she's trying to squeeze them out. This is the line that really... I hey, Let me pull it back. Becky, Becky, Becky. I love Becky. Becky is the moment. Becky, Becky, Becky. <laughs> I told so you much. that was a good donation. Oh, I love him. You you said that was a bad one. Uh, I, you're right. I'm always right. Well, you're right about that one. The Pixar one is stupid. The Pixar, it's... It's it, stupid. It's a good It's TikTok. stupid. It's a stupid donation. It's stupid, but it's hilarious. It's stupid. This is just what I see. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't unsee it now. But the, the thumbnail for this one. <laughs> Is she picking her own thumbnail like this? Amber, what are you doing? You two picked it. No, look at you. <laughs> it's the uh, same picture. Nicole said, Amber, just think about the last bit of takeout. <laughs> yeah, that'll help her cry. I'm never having McDonald's again. <laughs> just Jamie, it was totally <laughs> mutual, guys. Totally. Totally mutual. Even though sometimes I, like, I act like I hate myself, like I act like it. There's a part of me that cares. And I care about Feline as well. It's like she deserves the fucking world. Mm, well, yeah, but you can't give it to her because you won't get weight loss surgery. Like, a, like if, if I was Feline and I was with this girl for a year and I'm like, I'm going to help you pay for this and we're going to do this and we're going to get your life in order so we can move, we can travel, we can do all these things while we're still young. And she's like, eh. But I need to be fat for YouTube, so never mind about the whole plan that we've had for a year together. I would be like, you know what, I'm done too. I'm done. I'm going to go and live my life and not sit in this apartment for my my best Young. years of my life. Adipose tissue. I, your comment is great. I can't read it out, but I love your name too. That's good. Um, 
that's the thing is I f uh, FFG maybe said it. I forget who said it exactly, but Chantal and Amber are doing the same exact thing to Salad and Jade. Right. They're, 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 they want to just trap them in a room with them while they do nothing with their life. Yeah. They and do make nothing, YouTube videos. Nothing but gain weight and do YouTube. And these are young people. Yeah. I think Wifey is almost 10 years younger than Amber. Salad's 20 to 30 years younger than Chantel. <laughs> Why is this one so upset? Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Salad is 20 to 30 years younger than Chantel. And these people don't want to be stuck in a fucking house. Nope. I think what like they're in their best years of their life. They need to go live. Amber probably didn't even want to go to the fucking fireworks. She's so going to just stay home. Oh, uh, Jade is 27, my bad. Money now. Me a money needing a lot now. But Jade is significantly younger than Amber. Mm -hmm. And I mean, Amber's still young. Yeah, she's, she's only 33. 30. She's young. These should be the best years of her life and she's sitting in a dingy dark apartment with the lights off, whining to YouTube. Letting her hair get gray and not taking showers. That's what she's doing. I can't. And deciding not to get surgery that her girlfriend was going to help her pay for. I'm, I'm 30, almost. I can't not do anything for a day. Like, even if I'm home, I need to do something. Yeah, you're very need to do-y. Well, I'm happy to just sit around and do nothing, but you, you're like, we have to do something. You want to build a project, make a thing, do Everything something. that's happened has made me more wanting to be distracted but like i've been working on a project every free minute i have for the past week and i i think only one person knows about it i don't know if she's here or not but today man that shit fit together like a puzzle there's two pieces it looks very pretty two to four pieces left depending how you want to count it but it i i couldn't imagine being 26 right and you're stuck in a room of the day forever. is going out to walk the dog or maybe going to target target hall tour it hall don't check the price i got it <laughs> i went to target today and i wanted to fucking blow my head off i, I hate target so much uh, i cry harder over the store being out of kettle popcorn when i was in college alr needs to stop rubbing her face in her cats to make her eyes oh hurt. god She's only allergic in one eye. Yeah, that's just one eye allergy. Uh, Olga, thank you for the crab rave. Uh, and uh, mad yikes on bikes, thank you. Money me. Breaking up this tea party to say cheers, motherfucker. Thank you very much. Why do you hate Target? Because it's... I hate the clothes. I went in there looking for a cute booby shirt, and it's all like grandma farmhouse chic. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Who wears these clothes? You, you want to know why I hate Target? Because I needed... We have plans for my birthday, and I needed clothes for it. And I needed, like... Oh, you got, you got some cute stuff, though. I needed two or three decent beachy outfits. Mm -hmm. So You got the cute pineapple shirt. I fucking... A hundred and fucking fifty dollars. Yeah, it's way overpriced. A pack of socks was twenty-five bucks. Yeah, I know. I almost threw it at the cashier. Are you fucking out of your mind? Nope. Mm -hmm. And it's like I could only give her a part of it. <laughs> I could only give her a part of it when I want to give her the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, no, the shorts look great. That's why I bought them. <laughs> am I breaking up? You know what? I kind of am. It was, it was a pack of like 10 socks. Still 25 bucks. Yeah, you didn't end up buying them, did you? No, I told you. Put them back at the register. I was like, I'm not getting fucking $25 socks. <laughs> kind of am. And they were, they were like Hanes. <laughs> they were like Hanes socks. Yeah, we gotta get socks from like Dollar General, babe. Go to Marshalls? I think the only Marshalls around yeah, Marshalls me is, is far away. Rocky River. And so is TJ Maxx. They're both far away. That's in North Homestead. We used to have one here. It's gone now. All of our good stores closed down. I can only give her a part of it when I want to give her the whole thing. I, I gotta pull it back a little bit. We got... <laughs> we went off on a tangent. This is something we never do. And it's like I could only give her a part of it. <laughs> I could only give her a part of it when I want to give her the whole thing. Am I but, well, but what are you hiding a part of it? It can only give her a part of what? Your heart? Yeah. Why? 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 Right, we'll pull it Why? back a little bit more. Why could she only have a part? Were you saving the rest for what? Your family or your, your children? You could only love her so much because you have more important things? No. Weird. 
Golly, I said, Shelly, you like horror films? Watch Threads, 1984. She won't watch it. I won't watch it because it's old. I don't like anything old. Like, even shit from the 90s, I won't watch it. Um, it but thank I, you for the suggestion, guys. The, the not being able to do stuff, or it's not not being able to, the not wanting to do stuff has to be playing such a massive part in this. It has to. I feel like it, it, it that if she really didn't get denied weight loss surgery and she just decided on her own she just didn't feel like it and she was scared and she just was going to not do it now, I, I think that would make me leave if I were wifey. Like, no, it, what's the point? I'm like, not going to sit around and wait for you to eat vegetables with cottage cheese and lose 300 pounds with it. I, I'm not going to sit around and wait for that. I, you're you're a pretty solid homebody. You like staying oh, home. Yeah, I'm a homebody. But even you couldn't not do shit. No, we still have for to do months stuff. at a time. No, we st- we like go out on the weekends and stuff. But yeah. I'm, I'm content to just come home from work and sit around on the weekdays. I'm not that uh yeah motivated. Yeah. But that's the thing is it's not weekends right. for her. On the weekend, it's, I want to go out. It's not weekends. It's every day, always, every single day, forever, maybe. Yep. We'll go to Walmart. But when when Feline came around, it was, I'm going to get weight loss surgery. We're going to go to Seattle. We're going to do these things. And now she's realizing it's not happening. It, I, You know what? I can't even blame her. No. Even though sometimes I, like, I act like I hate myself. Like, I act like it. I pulled it back a little. Okay. There's a part of me that cares. And I care about Feline as well. It's like, she deserves the fucking world. She does, and you refuse to give it to her. You mm. give her your millennial gray apartment instead. And it's like I could only give her a part of it. <laughs> yeah, that part. I think that's the thumbnail, actually. Oh, close. Yeah, close. I th- and that part of the world you give her is a luxury villa yep. in Lexington, Kentucky, that you can't leave. That she, that fully, and you know what? I, it just, I just had my light bulb moment. Because um, I always wonder, why the fuck is every bit of groceries they get, why is it Instacarted? Mm-hmm. And it just struck me. Amber didn't want to leave. She didn't want to be left alone. So right. wifey isn't allowed to leave to go to the fucking grocery you, store. Yep, yeah, that's probably true. I mean, we knew she did that to Destiny years ago. Wifey wasn't allowed to leave to go to her because she's got anxiety. She doesn't want to be alone. Yeah, I'm sure wifey's not allowed to do anything without her. Mm. And, and I just saw a comment that I wanted to read. Rach said, it's called Future Faking. Most narcs do it. What the fuck? Oh, the... Narcissist pretending that we're going to have a great future, but it's fake. Narcissism. Mm. Makes See sense. It. I can only give her a part of it when I want to give her the whole thing. <laughs> am I breaking up? You know what? I kind of am. I kind of... Yeah, th- this this is, is exactly what, what this is. This is what she's saying right now. Wifey deserves to be able to go do things, and I can't give her that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And by breaking up now, she can go be free to live. Yep. Because Amber's stopping her. Ma'am, I just, I don't want to, like, shower. I don't want to, like... <laughs> well, we can't click I totally take showers, guys, because she totally is not doing it right now. Yeah, but she doesn't want to, and she normally does it, so... Okay, fine. <laughs> she mentioned showers, we can click it. <laughs> but the thing was, she wasn't doing it before. I don't want to do anything. I kind of just want to like eat. I just want to eat. Oh, that'll fix I just it. want to eat. That'll totally, that'll totally make your next girlfriend want to stick around. I need a timestamp for that. That's a dono right there. I don't want to do anything. I kind of just want to like eat. I just want to eat. I just want to eat. I think uh, you might get in trouble by her if you use that as a dono. Do you think? Yeah. I don't think you should do that. Five, That's five, kind of icky. 5.59. Can't use her I just want to turn to food. I want to numb it out. I as a dono. Her neck cleavage is so distracting, right? Jeez. I'm just lost. Because like I said, I don't know who I am. And I'm just ready to be... single. And I'm going to be living on my own. She's never been single. and you, But you know what? She's never been <coughs> single because she always is like open dms talking to other people like she was still with becky no matter what she says she was still living with becky when she started talking to feline uh-huh. so 
But now she thought she was secure and Feline was wrapped in her little world and she bought her off with Jordans and she wasn't going anywhere. And now the rug just got pulled out from under her, but there is nobody else in the DMs. She I'll, might be stuck by herself for a minute. I'll, but that's the thing is... And she's not. it's not like she's breaking in hundreds of thousands of dollars so somebody else is going to jump on the money train. If... In her entire career on YouTube, I don't think... 10 something years I don't think she's been single for more than maybe a month mm -mm. Ma at most two guys a being so emotionally dependent is such a turn off yeah it's, it's, I, yeah um, th th that, that wifey can't even go and do things is just ugh. that would drive me up a fucking wall and you know that that's how it is because that's how she was with Destiny, she didn't want her to go and do things. She doesn't want. She made Becky quit her job, so she couldn't go out without her. Because Amber doesn't want to go anywhere. Nobody can go anywhere either. You got to get all the food delivered. I I think being single in between relationships is a thing people. Oh yeah, of course, Hammond Bean. She moved Wifey in before Becky even yeah, left. Yeah, Becky had COVID, and she made her go stay with her family, and Wifey was in there. No, there was a, like a week or two that they were all there together. Yeah. But, like, it, in between a relationship, it's good and healthy to be single for at least a bit. Right. Yeah. You got to figure out yourself. Especially if you're in these long-term relationships, you have to figure out how you've changed since you were single. And I've been, I've been, I've been fucking unsingle for so long. I don't even know how to exist in the single world. Yeah, I don't want to. It's, it's, yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, it's, it's trying to flirt. Ugh. Could you imagine? Uh, makes me sad that Becky said that Amber thinks she wasn't enough. Amber can't even take showers. She bathes, bathes, bathes in perfume and dry shampoo. Then, got punctuation. The nerve on that woman. Becky is more than enough. She honestly needs to block her for her own mental health. I yeah, I don't know how Amber isn't blocked. That's I'll bet you Amber threatened her, saying if you block me, something, something. Maybe. Amber's definitely on the threatening her train. Sin, you flirt with us all the time. I flirt with you he's all the very time, Sam. Flirty. Sam, I flirt with you. Well, he pretends he's not flirty. Inappropriately flirty, sir. I would never do not such a thing. Seriously flirting? In this Oop. And I don't want to say where, I don't want to say when. That makes me think that she's going, like, with her mom or something. That, she doesn't have Could friends, and she's not going to live alone. No, yeah, there's she no alone. chance she in hell. Needs, she, she needs somebody to help her with life. Whether she thinks she's got it or not, she doesn't. Who's going to walk the dog? Like I'm, I'm worried for Twinkie. She's not going to walk the dog. She's just going to let Twinkie out, hold her on a leash out the window, and that's it? Like It's going to be Twinkie's outside time from now on? Yeah, it's, she needs somebody. She's probably going to live with her mom. But... As much as YouTube has, like, drastically fucked with me in my life. Honestly, YouTube was probably the single worst decision she has made in her entire life. Um, that's, that's, no, because otherwise she wouldn't have what she has. She has her entire, her, I, her life of luxury is thanks to YouTube. I, I couldn't. She would be, like, living paycheck to paycheck like the rest of us heathens if she didn't have YouTube. I, 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 it doesn't seem like a fair trade. You destroy your life, cut it off by 40 years for some money that she you was, can't take I mean, with she you. She was doing it no matter what. You, you can't take it. No, it's no. not like she would have gotten healthy for not, not for YouTube. She, she wouldn't have gotten to 600 fucking pounds. No, she wouldn't have the money to get to 600 pounds. It, it does not seem like a tr good trade. I bet you Amber is trying to manipulate Their neighbor shenanigans happening out there. I bet you Amber was trying to manipulate wifey, and wife was not the one to mess with, and she took her chance. Yep. Before she got more bed bound. Uh, I can't be, blame and became, her. And became like Becky. I bet Amber's eating her words, and she's kicking herself in the shell. Yep. It, that's why it was mutual. Yep. Yep. Uh, ha, 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 ha. It has also been one of the most amazing things that I am so grateful for. And it's like, for me, talking, just talking and talking and talking is so therapeutic and it helps me understand myself. I know a lot of people aren't like that. They're not an open book. Um, 
but YouTube has been there for me for a decade and it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. Yeah, no one thought it That's was. That's Amber. All right, I'm going to I'm going to click gaslighting and smuggling and I think my DPI is off. I don't know what that means, right. but okay. Have we had mobility? No. Mental illness rant? No. Flexing? No. Nope. No background noises? No. Fat phobic sociopaths? No. Nope. Weight loss, weight gain? No. Other YouTuber rant? No. Nope. Triggered? Mm, no. Twinkie? No. I'm so busy? No. All right. So, I want to document, you know, everything to the best of my ability. Um, that is a weird sentence. Yeah, well, I, I want to document, document everything, but I'm not going to tell you guys what happened. Send DMs as I went down. All right, give me a sec. Um, it's... No, I can't read that. I can't read that shit. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I love you, John. I wonder if Becky's going to say anything. God, I fucking hope so. Rachel Sue said that's why maybe why ALR complained about lung pain all of a sudden. She saw Jade had one foot out the door and pulled her tricks to try to manipulate her into staying. Mm. Mm. Post oh, it in so girl stuff. Cool. No, you can't even post that in Discord. No. No, 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 no. Be good, John. You should do not post Be good that boy. in Discord. Um, obviously, I'm not going to share everything, the real personal stuff, because why we broke up, it doesn't matter. Becky won't say anything. She's too timid. That's probably too I don't awesome. know, man. I don't know. Becky... Why Becky is even, like, scared of legal ramifications is ridiculous. Becky's scared. All right, John, you can put it in the girl stuff, whatever. Um, I, I, I don't, I think Becky will at some point. I she, hope she, she does. seems fucking hyped. Becky, Becky, yeah. Becky. She's fed up, and I don't blame her. But no, that. It's, she's, everything's been her fault for a year now. I, I would be done with it, too. The, I'm trying to document everything. It's. Incoming Chantel, like I was abused story arc. That's that I'm not. I, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. there with you. Yeah, it was abusive. She kept trying to go out without me, and I was left here alone. It was abusive. Oh, John said he posted on his Twitter. Go ahead, throw your Twitter in the, the chit chat. It happened though, and Emma, I am proud of you. I That's just awesome. I have to move on. I'm going to see your nails when you paint them. Send me a picture. And I have to move forward, and so does she. And it just feels... It feels like a nightmare. It feels like an absolute nightmare. But I know that it has to happen. It was mutual, right? And I have to was, keep reminding... I really, I really like the, the theory that she said, if you X, Y, Z, then we're breaking up. Mm -hmm. And then Wipey said, yeah. And that's how it's, how it's mutual. I, I think... But she's fucking devastated because she fucked up. I think... <laughs> <laughs> I think that's where I'm putting my money. Yeah. I think I put that's where I'm putting that's my money. Good theory. Because we we heard what happened with uh, 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 words. Destiny. Yes. If it's you, the same situation. And it, it, Amber likes to take it. Well, everyone's just mad because they say I threw a soda can. No. no, bitch. Everyone has thrown shit when they're mad. Oh, yeah. I, I threw my project off the porch yesterday. <laughs> I got so fucking mad. This thing was a bunch of two by fours, and I just picked it up and yeeted it off the fucking porch. <laughs> and then I went back and I put it together. But I got so fucking mad. Everybody gets mad. Everybody throws shit. Yeah, everybody they doesn't mad. threaten to off themselves if you leave the house yeah it, it, the, nobody gives a shit that you threw a soda can people were mad that you were like if you go to your mom's house i'm gonna hurt myself yeah and i'll bet you she did the same motherfucking thing mm -hmm. to wipey and wipey called her bluff yep. that's how it's mutual that's what happened if you go to fourth yep. of july fireworks we are breaking up i want to stay home i need to be safe and comfortable in bed yep. i can't go out to this you are not allowed to go either yeah. That's exactly what happened. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm in. That is, uh, that is my money. So for that, that it has to happen and I have to keep a healthy distance from her. You have to keep a healthy, that's the other, I have to keep a healthy distance. She was abusing me. She was not going to sit here when she, when she knew I need her the most. Yeah. It bull. And that's how it's mutual. Technically, it's mutual. Bull. So she keeps repeating it because she started it. 
bullshit. It, it these the abuse. This just clicked to fucking gather like a goddamn Lego piece. Mm-hmm. I think you're right. I, thi- I mean, if you're gonna threaten somebody, if you do this, we're breaking up. At least make it be something worth breaking up over. Not oh, you left without me. To make Amber, it something worth breaking up over, like cheating or something. To Amber, that is. You leave me in a night where there's loud, where there's noises, loud noises and I'm scared with my anxiety. And, and you I'm, know scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah. If you dare leave me, I'm done. Yeah. I think that's exactly I, I think that's what, what happened. happened. Amber wanted to stay home, watch fireworks on the TV. Yeah. I'm probably Ethan Klein was going to show him on his, Am- on his Amber channel. Amber wanted to do that. And wifey's <laughs> like, no, our, our fr- my friends are here. I'm going to go enjoy fireworks with them. You don't have to go. Yeah. If you walk out that door, we're done. Yeah. And that's what happened. Yeah. Because, like, she's still trying to hug me and stuff like that, and I have to tell I doubt it. I fucking doubt it. Tell her, like, I can't. I can't. Like, it hurts too bad. And in the past, like, I, I didn't want my ex to not sleep in the bed with me, but I don't want her in the bed with me. And that's the other no, thing. She doesn't want to be in the bed with you, and she, all of her exes were, like, timid and Easily controlled by Amber. Yeah. Wifey is the first girlfriend who's not been easily controlled. So yep. Wifey's the one who's not sleeping in the bed with you, and you have no say-so about it. Mm-hmm. You're not letting her or, or don't want her there. You can say that all you want, but you know it's not true. Yeah. yeah. It, it's going to be wifey is an alcoholic. Wifey oh, was yeah. abusive. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It, it is some... There is some... Horse shit coming down well, the pipeline. Probably because to Amber, not listening to her and obeying her every whim is abuse. Because she's used to everyone obeying her every word. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for the allegations. They're coming. Oh, they're definitely coming. The, it's going to be alcohol. It's going to be a mental abuse. Mm, yeah. The, she's she will, not going to claim physical abuse, but it's going to be mean to me and I, drunk and didn't care about me. She will allude to it. She, she won't will. outright say it, but she will heavily allude. Yes, she will. That I That's my chips are in that pile. Yep. Didn't care about my health. Was supposed to support me. Yep. Mm-hmm. Didn't support me enough. What fucking what did not care about my mental health, my anxiety, mm-hmm. all that nonsense. It's fucking coming. And I slept without her last night, and it was horrible. I have very, very, very bad abandonment issues. Like, this is due to, like, childhood shit. Like, I have been abandoned. You know, I was abandoned during the time of your life when you shouldn't be. So I have a lot of, like, fears that are irrational, but also very rational. See? see? Uh Uh-huh. Irrational fears. Mm -hmm. Mm, Mm-hmm. I think we got it here. I think we know the tea. By George, I think we figured it out. Mm-hmm. I hate sleeping alone. I hate it more than anything. But I know that I have to detach myself from certain things. And yeah, because she's not staying. Your your manipulation and all that shit you're trying is not working. Ooh, babe. Hurricane Heather. She's gonna use the fact that Wipey smoked as a reason why her <gasps> lung is fucked. Oh my god, I bet she is. The guys, we're putting, we're fucking putting it together. We are putting it together. It's all gonna fall into place. Sure. Uh, yeah. Um, I have to do this. It's freaking hard. It's terrifying. The un- that goth bitch. I'm doing the thing where I touch the side of my nose and I point at you. Mm-hmm. Dragon Mama, eighty three and eighty eight. I have combat PTSD. And fireworks do bother me. I don't believe that ALR has PTSD. Because if it's not something that comes and goes, it's not something that comes and goes. It's something you deal with every day. It's going to be PTSD from her meth parents having shootouts with the fucking ATF. Like, where were you ever afraid of loud noises that you need to be afraid of loud noises? Combat PTSD makes sense. What has Amber's combat been? Did she she have a firework blow up close to her one time and she was at the meth house? It's going to be something about her childhood, her parents shot at somebody or somebody shot at that it's gonna be something like that it's gonna be something they got in, stupid her parents got in a shootout with the FBI <laughs> <laughs> FBI Frank came and shot yeah. up their house and yeah. she's afraid to be alone at night Ammo said I swear to the drive through God so I'm so over this breakup can we get a Kuwait arc <laughs> hmm. known everything that I have to do all the I's I have to do all the T's I have to cross just to get to 
my destination. And I mean that like physically, but also figuratively, metaphorically, whatever it may be. It's just there's so much. And yeah, if that story comes out, I'm going to be like, yeah, fuck, Amber's parents are great. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel really freaking lost right now. And I need a shoulder. Mm, well, good thing you don't have any friends, huh? <laughs> we always should have been an asshole. Better watch out for those potatoes, girl. I need a shoulder to cry on, but I don't have anybody. I don't have anybody here. Kentucky's not for me. It never has been for me. <gasps> Scar has got it. I saved my brother from a stray firework lit by a meth head. I, yeah, it's going to be something. I came here for somebody, stayed here for somebody, and then was stuck here with somebody. All three different people. And now I. Who were you stuck with? Becky. You're stuck with Becky? Be Becky taking care of her, driving her around, wiping her ass when she couldn't do it herself. She was stuck with her. Somebody. Poor Amber. And I was stuck here with somebody. I gotta hear that line again. Hold on. Kentucky's not for me. It never has been for me. I came here for somebody. St Destiny. Stayed here for somebody. Pauline. And I was stuck here with somebody. Becky. Yep. Becky, you better bring that fucking tea, girl. Other How YouTuber How dare rant. she bring up being stuck with Becky during her poor me, wifey left me video. Mm -hmm. Like, it's still shading Becky. Why? Ugh. Amber is just far too great for Kentucky. I, I mean... Right, she is a California girl, and she's rich, and she should not live around the hillbilly folk in Kentucky. You know, that's her mm -hmm. fucking mental state about mm -hmm. it. Not like anywhere that she lives, she won't ever see anything but the inside of her fucking apartment. Doesn't matter what city she's in. Damn, I didn't even think she went out of order until now. Do she you, did. Do you think that she's going to say that she the, was stuck I there with Feline? For, the I stayed for is Feline. Definitely. Yep. Because she could have left Kentucky. Uh, she, she hated it so much, yep. she stayed for Feline. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what it is. All three different people. And now I get to be free. Oh, yay. And that's, uh... That's wild. That's wild. It makes so much sense. There is no way in hell with Wipey still there that she's going to say that she got stuck in Kentucky with her. No, she Wipey's Wipey not Wipey from is Kentucky. the one that got away now. Wipey's not from Kentucky. No. Nope. Wipey she, came there for her and was stuck there. She got stuck there with Becky. That's 100% what she's talking about. Yep. Hi, I've been watching your video for the past couple of days. You guys are really great background noise to keep on. Well, thanks. Uh, first time catching one of your streams, so happy I could catch it. Well, thank you, Saki. I appreciate it. I don't know. She's immobile because of her ex. Of course. Oh, yeah. It's always somebody else's fault. You guys. I'll keep you updated, but that's kind of all I have for now. Mama Lynn is in Oklahoma. <laughs> oh. oh, I can't see her going to Oklahoma. Oh, how's she going to get there? Oklahoma, where the fatties come. She can't drive herself. She, kind of, she, she can't go on a plane. She, to gray. She, she, I, you know what? I can't. Oh, bus would be her only option. I'm I'm not saying anything. That would be her only option. But how's she gonna move her stuff? It it she's gonna hire movers. She's gonna her? hire movers. She's gonna hire movers and just. Sit she's in gonna. The back. I mean, she's gonna hire an Uber to drive her. She's gonna hire movers and then just be like, "Can I sit in the back of the semi truck?" Amber is not rich outside Kentucky. That will be a wake up call. That's true. She's like, "I want to move to Seattle." Yeah, girl, oh, you're fuck. gonna be poor as fucking Seattle. You ain't gonna be able to afford nothing but a studio apartment there. Totally of the large. Oh my god. Damn. I'm gonna go cry in a pillow or something. Mm. I'm gonna go cry in a pillow. Nice one.